Hello, one and all. This is Luckless Love Locks, and welcome to a Luckless Looks at Nadita Boy. This is day three of 30 days of Luckless Looks at, and I'd like to thank Studio Koba and Team 17 for the copy of Nadita Boy to play with all of you. As you can see by, as you can see and hear by the music and what you're seeing on the screen, this is inspired by Tron's like 80s style platformer adventure action game. Let's jump right in to Narita Boy. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Oh, uh, one thing I want to warn you guys about is, uh, as it says at the bottom there, if you have uh, problems with photosensitivity, there is a lot of flashing lights and, and stuff in this game. So just be aware of that. Old York in the early 80s. like a uh, a well-off coder it's been hacked wait is that like a poster of him of himself on the wall I should do that ooh Oh damn, he got like knocked out by that thing. The silent eclipse, the creator has forgotten. Him has returned. The him being the uh Oh no. Activate the, the Narita Boy protocol. Narita Boy protocol activated. So, the creator of this world or whatever got like lost his memory oh that's cool that like tower in the background at the same time on the outskirts of new york oh god i played so many games that look like that <laughs> turn out that little machine and go straight to bed or tomorrow i'm giving it back to your father that's all you need to spend all day glued to a screen Go to sleep now. It's just like these annoying sounds. We're gonna get sucked into the computer to save the day. Narita, boy! Arrival in the Digital Kingdom. The Heroes Summit. Got that digital eclipse in the background. Oh, I like the, uh, the style. Very interesting. Here we are. There is, like, a CRT filter that you can apply. I'm actually kind of curious to see what it looks like. CRT soft filter. Oh, we turned it off. That it was on. Okay. I don't know. I think that's interesting. It kind of looks like this is what it, the, the filter is on when that's on. Okay. I think I like it without the filter. Don't you guys? All right. Like I prefer. I prefer it like this. Just in time, Narita boy. The flag we programmed with the call hero function gave us some wiggle room to assemble this switch and force your entry through segments of old code. This region is barely controlled by the hacker knots. You could travel through it with some confidence, but proceed with caution. Him and his hacker knots are tirelessly running through lines of code to try and find you. Pressing this button will open the door. Inside, waiting for you, is the holographic module of Motherboard. Protective mother of us all. Or, protective mother of us and all the programs in the Digital Kingdom. She's in the capital of the Digital Kingdom, sustaining the trichroma. Overseeing code, closing breaches, and fixing bugs. Since the arrival of the Stallions. The Wild Stallions? 
The Digital Kingdom's code has been unstable. The trichroma beam too. Need to open the door. The mountain path. Okay, we jump down on the platforms. Makes sense. Classic uh, platforming stuff. The cave of the trichroma. Here's the, the photosensitive stuff, guys. Motherboard, this is a pre-recorded message for the true instance digital hero, Narita Boy. I am Motherboard, supervisor program of the Digital Kingdom. I was designed line by line by the creator, and my source code emanates from the architectural core of the trichroma. I was one of the first sentient programs they awoke in the Digital Kingdom. If you're listening to this message, that means you've received our call and have decided to come to our aid. Welcome. What you see is the visual metaphor of the trichroma, the beam that emanates from its core and the three rays that rise up from our kingdom's source code. Each beam has a, a definite function and occupies a specific region of the kingdom. Each beam is a computational entity that creates a system of programs around it. These systems are called the houses of the trichroma, and there are three of them, just as there are three creator beams. The yellow house beam, a region of code that spans the desert simulation, the blue house beam, the regions of the eternal rains and the blue simulation. So that means that there's three main levels, maybe? And finally, the red house beam, the most powerful and disruptive house of all. The red house beam is the powerful equilibrium that supports the trichroma architecture. But him, the supervisor program that used to manage the data dump, lost his mind and betrayed us. He craved supremacy over the red house. We defeated him and he was expelled from the red beam along with other programs known as stallions. But they've returned. Narita boy, which is why we've called upon you. We need a hero who can wield the Techno Sword, the only blade forged with trichroma beams, able to destroy stallion code. You must go to the Techno Father's Castle. There, the supervisor programs who forge the Techno Sword. Uh, okay. You must claim it from them and free us from the stallion menace. But that is not all we ask. Him has inflicted still more damage. Okay. Get hold of the Techno Sword. Techno Father's Castle. Is that right over here? The Chamber of the Broken Memory. Oh, that's him. This is him, the Sorcerer. Our old supervisor brother from the House of the Red Beam. He's caused huge disruption. Motherboard will explain everything. You have a holographic console with a double Ansible. Double Ansible to contact her. I don't know what Ansible is. Uh, whenever you find the holographic console, you can communicate with Weatherboard. What's more, the encryption is sufficiently complex to prevent him's hacker knots from being able to tap into your dialogue flow. Uh, he's gonna find a way. Oh, this is the guy. This is the creator. Immense sorrow runs through my code, seeing how the first of the creator's 13 memories has been destroyed. This demolished totem gives access to the creator's memories. The creator placed them in different parts of the kingdom as a security measure. If something were to happen to the creator, the digital hero would be able to immerse himself in his memories to reactivate the digital kingdom's passive memory, and thus keep the source code updated. So 13. Maybe I was wrong, maybe there's 13 levels. Now we need them because him has erased the creator's memories. The 13 that make up his metaneuronal network, the creator can't remember. The creator has forgotten that he sustains this kingdom. And because he is forgetting and the equilibrium in the trichroma threatens to fail, him and his stallions have once again invaded us. How he managed to erase his memories, I don't know. It's a mystery that maybe you'll solve as you travel through them. Uh, you'll be a psychonaut and a hero. What would you rather be in the comment section? Uh, let, let, us, let us all know, a psychonaut or a hero? <laughs> I don't really know what a psychonaut means. But remember, if the creator permanently forgets, the digital kingdom will be lost. Him will control the powerful red beam, subjugating us to his darkest desires. 
The trichroma will be destabilized and will be under his rule. Even if you kill thousands of stallion programs, remember that only the creator can totally eliminate the stallion code. But it's gradually appearing in thousands of lines of source code. You need to find the 12 remaining totems, piece together their code, and journey within them. Only by unlocking them can the creator retrieve his memory. So hurry! Oh, one last thing. Son of the Trichroma. Son of the Trichroma! I like that. It's not possible to travel to the first memory through this broken totem, but you don't have to retrieve it. The 12 remaining memories are sufficient for the creator to remember. But you should know that there are five backup floppy disks in the Digital Kingdom. If you find them, you can rebuild this first totem. So this is like a bonus thing? If we if we find the five disks, then we can go do this like bonus level or something. We'll be eternally grateful to you if you manage to retrieve his first memory too. Totems and journey inside his memories. Okay. Shh, sounds pretty easy. The gallery of the Cosmo Visions. Oh, don't look at that, buddy. That's bad. That's bad juju. Oh. Narita boy, we haven't produced. Oh, sorry, we haven't introduced ourselves. My brother programs and my brother programs and I are agents of the capital. Motherboard coded us to move through the digital kingdom, investigating the mysteries of our kingdom's source code. We also help any program in the digital kingdom adjust its code where necessary. I wanted to warn you about this simple but malicious stallion script that surges up from the ground. Jump and dodge it, but don't try to destroy it. We don't know why, but this code has infinite layers of complexity that renders it indestructible. All right, so they're teaching us about the different enemies. Oh, cool. And climb. Oh, nice, and we can jump to climb. Okay. Access to binary pastures. So we have to go up. Sword is up here. Oh, that was close. Now, looks like right now all we can do, oh, we can crouch too. Oh, I like that animation. The binary pastures. Oh, hey. Can I pet you? So all I can do is jump so far. Access to Baba's cave. Can you give me access? Ah, yes, you'll need a techno key to go through this door. These monoliths are encrypted slots. I thought, it's, I thought it said sloths at first. <laughs> Inside them is an age old program, as ancient as Motherboard. An old woman known as Baba, who, by the way, is very pleasant. All the programs in this region know her, and she'll safeguard anything that is entrusted to her. Help the techno fathers and the priests of the portal. Visit Baba. Get the access techno key. Okay. Oh, display. What did that say? Display information. Ah. There's a lot to do. Can you get that to go away now? Ooh. Oh, I see. It just goes away after time. I think it's because I kept hitting the button, so it kept reappearing. The Techno Father's Castle. Oh, is it showing you the whole level? I dig that if that's what's going on. Zombie? Oh, that's the, uh, that's the type of enemy? Oh, shoot. Probably want to avoid those dudes. Is this a sword? No. Oh. Ah. Wait, what's this? Is there a secret? I guess we're gonna get like, uh... 
higher jump or like a double jump or something? The hall. Oh, I like the, uh, like, it's kind of like mist on the, on the ground. Access to the underground garden. Donita boy, access to the underground garden is restricted. You'll find the access techno key in the higher levels of the castle. But how many objectives do we have now? You gotta go up here, guys. Elevator to the higher rooms. Let's go left first. Techno algorithm. Door to the priest portal. Let's go techno algorithm hall. Whoa! Dude. That looks cool. Welcome, Narita boy. The Techno Sword awaits you. We forged it the day the Stallions were expelled from the Digital Kingdom. We told ourselves that if they ever returned, we would need all the concentrated power of the Trichroma to stand up to them. And of course, a very special hero from beyond the source code to wield it. At the end of the hall, take the other elevator that will lead you to the Techno Sword. Oh, okay. This, that's some, some funked up shit. Oh, it's a creator. A little glimpse. Voxel 3. Whoa! I didn't. Okay. Rest in force. I didn't see them come in. Whoa! Rest in force. Ha! <laughs> Rock on. Foundation corridor. It's crafting the sword, I guess? Forging the sword? Dancing? <gasps> oh, cool. It's like a little prayer. Hall of the Techno Sword. Oh, it's like techno music. <laughs> what the hell? I think this is it here. Shotgun? Ultra beam? What the fuck, man? Oh, bitch! <laughs> uh, home run. Boom! Whoa! Okay, uh... Boom! What is... Is that it? Can you do anything else? <laughs> that was pretty intense. Oh, look at where... Look at our run now. That's awesome. Tower of the Sacred Tori. Teaching us moves, maybe? Shotgun slash ultra beam? Okay, right trigger. Press once to activate shotgun or hold down to activate ultra beam. Each of these attacks needs a different number of cartridges that will recharge over time. Access the power-up menu at any time. Okay. All right. Oh, I'm out of cartridges? Oh, I see. Hey, 
Am I actually like... I don't think it's like, um... A ranged attack, right? Boom! Oh, I see. If you charge it too long, you... Oh, damn! If you don't use it, you lose it. But it does become more and more powerful the longer you charge it. <laughs> I didn't realize how loud the music would be. It really gets louder. Uh, what's the... <laughs> what's the music? What's the uh, battle skit going? Oh, shit. Okay, it's not that easy. The, the platforming is not as easy as it might look, guys. I think I can climb. Can I climb on the... Uh, on those parts? I feel like... Oh, yeah, I can. I feel like when I didn't have my sword out, it was easier to platform. Dodge. Uh, use dodge to escape offensive attacks. Use it in uh, the air to cover more distance. Uh, okay. Let me make a little bit of adjustments to the sound now that I'm into the game. I think I want to do this. Something like that. Can I look? Uh, this story station houses downloadable packages used to enhance qualities of the hero program. You'll find them throughout your adventure. You'll need them to progress and become strong. Oh, Tori Gate, yeah. Okay. Um. Okay. So do I do? Oh, wow. Okay. So you actually like turn around? Totem room. Uh, son of the Trichroma, you've reached the first totem. As you know, you must penetrate the creator's memories. Every time you release a memory, it will return to the creator. Meditate in the mists of the code and connect to the creator's oniric flow. When you connect, the totem will open and allow you to visit the Hall of Memories. What's this? So I try chroma if you every time you Oh it's the same thing. Okay. Interesting. Maybe you could have approached them the other way. That's how you meditate everybody. You press X a bunch of times. Wait, what? Oh, I was like, did I not press it enough times? There is definitely this like Bill and Ted's vibe going on here, too. So this is the, I think this is the first totem? Or the first memory? Okay, I wasn't sure if I was going to fall there or not. I was going to say, it sounds like uh, Chrono Trigger music, I want to say. My name is Lionel Pearl Nakamura. I was born in Narita, a city located in the prefecture of Chiba in Japan. They say that the summer I came into the world was a very hot one, and the sound of the cicadas particularly resonating, but I don't remember that. Huh. I did not expect this. I thought it was just like pure action. This is cool. Nor do I remember that my father was American. Uh, uh, Gai, Gaiko Kojin? Gaiko Kujin? I don't know how to pronounce that, guys. I'm sorry. 
and that apparently on that day he was particularly troubled by his work. But there's one thing I do remember, an intense light and a voice emanating from it. A gentle voice that sung me a lullaby. I remember my mother among patches of color. A mosaic of shapes, intoning sounds from a faraway dimension. Mommy. Oh. So there is fighting. Oh man. Oh! Okay. Okay, cool. That was one, one of the memories? Wait, wait, that's it? Said to go this way. Wait, let me just double check to make sure this isn't anything new now. Okay. Here is it. Okay. Okay, so I guess we're going to be able to visit that hall again. Calculus 3 room. Skull code. Oh, I thought that was like a one like boss dude. Boom! Oh. oh yeah, I can dodge now, right? Can I dodge through him? Ah, okay. I thought it was a back dodge, but not a, it, it, it. You basically dodge in the direction that you're moving. Blast him! Oh! All right, I'm getting adjusted to this. Woo! <laughs> I like the uh, the recharge sound. Wait, I was gonna say, how much can you hit my head against that? Uh, oh, I need to do the the, the 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 this. Yeah, got it. Banks of the Akromatopsha River. So we hit one of three. It looks like. Here, brother, this is the access techno key to our garden. Once in the garden, contact the quantum uh, meditator. I was like, is that mediator or meditator? Take me a second. Here's a techno key that you'll need. Uh, take the opportunity to meditate with him, transcending at his side and walking the paths of the trichroma in the light of his luminous code is one of the greatest experiences the digital kingdom has to offer. I like this. I like that it gives you some time to just like chill out after the fights. And so we've got a sword gauge. Is that our health in the top top part? I wasn't paying attention when I got, when I was getting hit, I couldn't. Uh... I didn't really see what was going down. I think I go back. There was that other way we could go in the elevator, right? Is there... What about this way, too? It's telling me to go this way. Okay. Is that, it's probably faster to use that to move, right? I don't know, there's quite a bit of a cooldown. It's probably not any faster. Oops. <laughs> oh, maybe this is the... Oh, I thought the, the, that would charge up the sword. Whoa! Baddies! Oh! <laughs> They're bats! <laughs> 
I thought they were just referring to these little guys as, as like baddies. Is that like extra damage? Yeah, it looks like it. Okay. Can I knock him off? I can. Indeed. Okay. Can I use this in air? In mid-air? No, I can't shoot. Shit. Damn, when that music gets going. Hey. Okay. I really dig that uh, the elevator background. I'm a sucker for this type of look, though, to be honest. Okay, so the door to the priest portal. Check this out. Narita boy, I'm sorry not to be with you at this time. I must sustain the harmony of the Trichroma from the capital of the Digital Kingdom, close to its core. Kim is dumping petabytes of corrupt code. On a subtle level, I am warding off his attacks. Beyond this door is the priest's portal. You must cross it. It will lead you to the Church of the Strange Monolith. In this region, you'll find a new creator's memory. To reach the priest portal, you'll need the access techno key. I think I got that right. The priests are prayer programs that keep the portal aligned. They entrusted the key to Baba. Oh, the ancient program celebrating near the castle. Okay. So I need to get to Baba. And I think I... I want to say I unlocked one of the one of the things to the door to Baba's domain. Oh, I can get across that gap now. I can only go this way. Access to the underground garden. Oh, that's new. I think maybe that's what we got. Yeah, okay. The underground garden. That is death. <laughs> <laughs> Three algorithmic altars must be activated. This triad, as powerful as the trichrome itself, will activate the transcriber of the symbols. You guys noting all these names? This machine created by the agents of the capital allows you to transcend to other regions of the code. Using the power of the transcendent symbols, we call them jump patterns. Take a good look at the trichrome's fundamental symbols, the metaphoric expression of its beautiful code. There are always three, remember, three. One for each beam. Oh no. I have to like remember stuff. I don't, I don't like memories. Using memory. So it's square. Uh, three dots and then square. What is happening? <laughs> oh, they're sleeping. They're thinking about that. Maybe this is so this is so confusing. Now let's go in. Let's see what happens. The hidden chamber. Okay, so we got the three lights. Oh, 
Okay. What's your story? This garden is pure inspiration. Cycles of stress. Fragments of anxiety. Are you writing unstable code? Then come down here. Connect to the computer and flow. The best lines of code in all the digital kingdom have been written right here. So we have... Oh, there's this one too. This one's busted. Okay. I'm so confused right now. Oh, I can keep going. Okay. Okay. That's two of three. It's all about threes. And there's the third set of candles. Transcriptor is switched off. Three altars. Okay. Fly! Oh, that's so horrible. That was uh, what we call a death warp, everybody. How do I, how do I get up there though? Find Baba and get the access techno key to the priest portal. Get the access techno key to Baba. Go down into the garden and track down the quantum meditator. Guess I'm done in this area for now. I don't see a way I can get up there. You want to send me flying up there, buddy? Okay, well, we still have other places to go, so I, I don't know what else to do here for now. I think that's the code that we have to input when we get up there, but I kind of dig that it's, um, you're like moving around a lot. Like, it, uh, I guess a bit of a Metroid vein. I was about to say Metroid vein, a Metroid like. <laughs> okay, let me, let me go back out. Oh shit! And I can't, I can't kill those guys. I bet you, yeah, this is gonna be the last switch, right? Let's take a look over here, though. It's a dead end. I think this gets us in to see Baba. Now oh, I can kill these fuckers. Oh, I waited too long. Okay. Room of the three switches. Or maybe, is this where we put in the code? Backup lobby just found. This is rebuilding memories. Um, it's the achievement that we got. Okay. I think 
I can climb up here. Oh my god. I didn't even notice this climbing spot, guys. Ugh. Okay. It was... I think we got it. Quantum Ascension. Ah. The Quantum Meditator. Baba's friend. Meditator. Can you feel the trichroma in every pixel of your idle state? We are nothing more than lines of etheric code in a non-space, non-time continuum. We are computation, eternal inputs and outputs, a light that goes out, a flag that activates. Here? Oh, here. This is the techno key that will open the entrance to Baba's cave. She's also a great meditator, as patient as time itself. She always knew you would come and has lived thousands of iterations in deep meditation. Sometimes I feel her code flowing through circadian functions. Please give her my regards. I love the way that looks. Now we visit Baba, okay. So cool, I love the style of this game. Um, okay, so I need to jump down now, I think, right? And this is going to take us back. Okay, we're back on track. It was uh, pretty hard for me to notice that climbing spot. I don't know if you guys noticed it right away or not. Ow! Makes sense though. But that's not the first time I've missed climbing spots before, so maybe it's just not as apparent to me as they uh, expected. Is it going to be a massive sheep? Oh, wow. They've been, they've been just uh, meditating for so long that the grass has like grown over them. Ah, I was sure of it. Narita boy, I always knew the trichroma would distill its essence in barely 20 pixels of condensed power. In the source code, I read commented lines that made me suspect that a hero would be compiled to rebalance the beams of the trichroma. And along with other programs, I have been awaiting you. They call us the Believers. But my brothers who flourished in this cave have gradually switched off. Oh, I think I see them in the background. Only I, Baba, remain a program who has always awaited you. Before giving you the techno key you're after, I must ask of you a favor. Recently, since the arrival of him and his stallion forces, a suspicious portal event has appeared. That's suspicious! Yep. Uh, can you help me investigate what it's all about? Maybe we'll have time to stop another outpouring of stallions in this region. We must contain them at all costs. I can do that. Die! Oh, wait. Horror dimension, beta maximum prime. Oh, Lord VHS, <laughs> you are the digital hero. How can him be scared of a sprite no bigger than 20 pixels in size? When I'm done with you and I bring him your techno sword, I'll sit at the table of the stallion commanders. 
Not even a stallion commander, even with those abs? You're going to learn the meaning of pain. I'm Lord VHS. <laughs> He's got a VHS tape on the top of his staff or whatever. I guess that's like a hammer. Uh, one of the barons for the dimensions of horror. Die! I think it's you that will die. Jesus Christ! Whoa, he whacked me good? Aye! Okay. I don't know if I should be like charging up attacks. Rewound! One of the greats that she had been unlocked. We clearly are. This is deep. I like this world. Ah, okay. I was like, how close do I have to get? Ah, I knew it. Lord VHS. One of him's hitmen, a hybrid stallion programmed in the depths of the dimensions of horror. Thank you, Narita boy. Here's the techno key that will give you access to the priest portal. Don't be scared to cross this portal. It will open doors to the digital kingdom. Be strong, brother. Rest in power, live in light, maintain harmony and suck it to him and his stallions. All right, everybody. I'm gonna wrap up this luckless looks at Narita boy here. Thank you for joining in. Let me know what you thought in the comment sections and uh, in the comment section. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys tomorrow for another uh, Luckless Looks At. What's it going to be? We'll see. This is Luckless Looks signing off for now. And I love you all. <laughs>